right now on social media. The story goes that a woman showed up to Nick Fuentes' home. He pepper sprayed her, pushed her off his porch. It was small. It was only a couple steps. Took her phone from her. The police were called. EMTs were called. People were shocked. Why did this leftist show up to the home of Nick Fuentes? And I know a lot of people on the left are saying that, you know, why not? Why can't you go to his house? Which is insanity, considering Nick Fuentes is getting an insane amount of death threats. His home has been doxxed. Someone's now doxing his family, his mom, his sister, all of these things. I just want to say this right off the bat. If you know a guy is a high profile figure whose information has been doxxed and there are other people outside his house and he's received several death threats, approaching his home unsolicited is a very, very bad idea. Now, I don't know the full details and I've, I've been searching and reading a lot of these stories. Apparently, this leftist liberal woman was upset that Nick Fuentes tweeted, your body, my choice. That's it. And for this, they've gone after him like crazy. And, you know, it's the craziest thing. Nick Fuentes is just some dude. He's got opinions. He made a post. They didn't like it. Really? For this, they're sending him death threats and going to his house. They really don't like this guy. They say Nick Fuentes, far right figure of the your body, my choice phrase doxed online as backlash intensifies. Now, there are a lot of horrible things that people are are tweeting at women and everything like this. And I don't see any real solution or answer. There are nasty people posting nasty things. What we want is calm. Unfortunately, you know, this story is is absolutely crazy. Now, the woman has has publicly identified herself. So I don't think there's any issue with saying her name as she has chosen to go public with what happened. The left is making the argument that she did nothing wrong. She went to his house. Why did he pepper spray her? It's his fault. He's the one who should be charged. Now, I do think Nick may have some issues with there's going to be an argument. Somebody comes to your door, and knocks on the door. You can't just open the door and pepper spray somebody in the face and take their phone. If that's all that happened, I don't buy it for a second. I think some of what is being said is that there was a man in a vehicle stalking his house. Many people were. He had been doxxed. And then this woman goes up to his house. Some are saying she was trying to get in. And that's when he pushed her away and pepper sprayed her. Now, look, I, I, I'm going to say this again. I don't know. I've got no respect for the left, nor am I a fan of your body, my choice trolling. But trolling is just trolling. I do not believe and, and we'll see. We'll see. Because I don't know. But I, I don't think it sounds right that some five foot tall fat woman standing on his porch and he just for no reason pepper sprayed her. I have seen posts from people saying she tried going in. So he shoved her back, pepper sprayed her. That honestly makes a lot more sense. Why would Nick open the door in the first place unless he's just I hate people and for no reason I'm going to expose myself to liability and do all this stuff? I think... It makes more sense. He's genuinely concerned about his safety. He's a bit, he, he, he trolls. He gets people all riled up. He has got a lot of enemies. He's been getting a lot of death threats. I'm not defending him. These are, these are facts. And then, as people are stating, when he goes to the door, she tries coming in. We heard this story a while ago about this dude, a young black kid, and they said the guy just shot him through the door for no reason. And it's like, look, man, the kid apparently went to the wrong house. How much do you want to bet this kid? And it's and I'm not saying he did anything wrong. Tried to open the door because he didn't realize it was the wrong house. And then the guy just opened fire. And I'm saying, hey, there's some weird person trying to enter my home. And he panicked. Now, I don't know what the development is on that story. But here we go. Vanity Fair is this big thing about it. Emboldened men celebrate Donald Trump's win by hurling attacks on women online. Here's what I want to say. I don't know that any of this matters. What I mean is the escalation it's a runaway train. There are some anonymous troll accounts insulting and attacking women. But Ben Shapiro's not doing it. I'm not doing it. Trump's not doing it. No prominent personality is leading the charge in this way. Nick Fuentes says, your body, my choice. He's not telling people to go do these things as far as I can tell. And Nick is prominent only with his faction of, of fans. He's not a political leader. He's not, in the, he's not in the White House or whatever. They say, oh, but Trump had dinner with him. Oh, shut up. There's no prominent liberals right now. There's fringe weirdos calling for poisoning men. I'm not going to blame Chuck Schumer over what these people are doing. But Vandy Fair 
is fanning the flame, saying men are doing this. They're calling, they're attacking women online. Now, I just did a segment about these women in Aqua Tafana and the 4P movement, and I have said those women should be charged and arrested when they advocate for poisoning and murdering people. The problem I see is there's no simmering things down. Rudyard Lynch, I mentioned him several times today. He fears political violence, and I'll keep it light considering the nature of this video. I, I don't see how you de-escalate. Why would this woman go to, go to, go to this dude's house? So you've got uh, some photos here. Kiwi Farms post after a viral video declaring your body my choice. Fuentes' home in Chicago has been turned into a your house my choice zone. Progressives are, are, are attacking him. And here's an image of Fuentes pepper spraying some woman, apparently. And uh, all of this stuff is, is I'm, I'm, I'm going to avoid posting anything overt, but of the stuff that has been made public by police and has already been shared to social media. I'm not going to mention the woman's name, uh, and I'm not going to show any information pertaining to his home or anything like this. But in response to this, Ian Miles Strong says a woman went to his house and was pepper sprayed. This uh, account says, yeah, I'm sure Nick just randomly maces every visitor. You don't have the full story and then uh, insults the guy. What I can say is, yeah, I don't think it's so simple. It, it makes sense. The woman maybe tried opening the door and that's when he pepper sprayed her. Maybe she tried going. Be, I, I, I'm sorry, man. Look. I can't show this stuff on YouTube, but there is a video of a woman and she is like, it, it's crazy the amount of information on the, on the Fuentes family she is giving out. I see one path. I see, I, and I see a dangerous and terrifying reality. If you're going to give out information on the mom, where she works, the name of his family, sister, and his address, you, you know what they want to happen. Now we hear we have dealt with swattings, and I don't do anything near what Nick Fuentes does. Political commentary, my trolling is substantially much more light than his. And we have people pull up to our security gate almost every night. We have armed security guards and other security measures, which I will keep secret for security reasons. But we've, we had, a, we had a, a guy in a dress show up to our property and attack one of our employees. So... What do you think Nick Fuentes is going to be thinking when he's getting death threats and these things are happening? Moving forward, I don't see why the left would chill out. A lot of people ask me, what do I think happens now with Donald Trump winning the election? And uh, I got to say, my friends, I think the left is going to go crazy. I do think we'll see protests on the on the 20th and or the 6th. The Democrats will have some version of a January 6th type event. That is to say, large groups of leftists will violently riot in D.C., I don't know if they'll storm the Capitol. I don't, I don't know about that. But they've stormed into public buildings before without consequence. They, when, when, they, uh, when they rioted and, and vandalized property in D.C. during Trump's first inauguration, they were paid out a million bucks. They won a lawsuit. The left is emboldened and dangerous right now. Not the right. Nick Fuentes didn't go to anybody's house and threaten them. He just posted an annoying thing on X. That's crazy. Your body, my choice. Yeah, he's just trying to antagonize online. But that's nothing. People can say stuff online. The fact that people are pulling up their cars in front of his home, walking up to his house and trying to do whatever. They're trying, I don't know. I will tell you this. Do not come to our properties. Do not come to our properties. We have security perimeters set up. And if you try to bypass those perimeters, let's just say law enforcement has contingencies because we've dealt with this stuff. I can't speak for Nick. I can only speak for the state of this country right now. We had to set up a security perimeter, physical fencing, because people kept trying to drive onto the property. And we don't know what they were doing or what they wanted. But here's the issue. When someone drives on the property, and if you don't know who they are, maybe it's nothing. Maybe it's, oh man, I a wrong turn. Sorry about that. Thought it was a public street. The problem is, what if it's not? What if they're casing the joint? Here's the issue with Nick Fuentes. I'm not going to tell anybody what they should or should not do. I'm going to tell you that if people trespass on our property, our security handles everything. But here's what people need to understand about what's going on with Nick. Let's say this woman did just stand on the porch and ring the doorbell. And it's all she did. And then Nick sprayed her down. What would happen if Nick did not 
pepper spray a woman who had been stalking his house, who he doesn't know after received a bunch of death threats. This is the this is the challenge. I will say it again. If that is the, the that is the case, Fuentes may be in trouble. You can't just do that, especially not in Illinois. <laughs> Good luck, dude. Why would you live there? Let's t- let, I'm going to step outside of the Fuentes scenario. I just give you a general understanding. If someone comes onto my property and we do nothing, there is the risk that they intentionally did that to test our security limits. How do they respond if you enter deep into the property and go near their buildings? They do nothing. That's casing the joint. It is very dangerous for prom- That's why we have security. If someone were to try and enter this property here, I will stress it again, please, for the love of all that is holy, do not do that. Because I don't, you can only assume what our armed security guards may do with the death threats that we receive. But I will tell you, the, the response will never be nothing. Now, we, again, we have a security fence. So usually now cars pull up all the time and our guards flash lights and they, they, they peel out, they dip off. We don't know what they're doing. We don't know what they want. I don't know if they want to find out. But that's why we had to put up the gate. Because we do not want violence. We do not want a a scenario like this. So when a car pulls up before, they would go into the property and our guards would come out. And (laughs) that was never pretty. We said, guys, to avoid any kind of direct conflict or confrontation, put up a strong physical barrier that if they try to circumvent, they'd have to use force and I'll keep it light. I'll keep it light, but you get it. If someone's trying to physically break their way out of the property, we have bonded, insured, licensed, prominent security guards. These are dangerous times, man, and I hope everyone just chills out, stays away from this dude's home. Don't go near it. Leave him the F alone. Stay away from this guy's property. But these people are nuts. They're bragging about it. They're cheering it on. They're calling for violence. So I am worried that Rudyard may be correct in what may come in the next few months. I'm not saying Nick Fuentes is not antagonistic, but you're allowed to say naughty things on the internet. You're allowed to say stupid things. You're allowed to say mean things. You're allowed to voice your opinion, even if people don't like you. I actually, he tweeted your body, my choice. And I'm like, I don't know. I get it. It's a funny, you know, I tweeted, ha ha, Democrats, you think we cheated. If they're jokes, you can criticize Nick for anything else he said. But the fact that they show up at his house over this stuff is nuts. So I'm worried, man. I'm worried how this this spirals. I don't know what else. I'll leave it there. Smash that like button. Share the show with everyone you know. Become a member over at TimCast.com to join our Discord server. It's getting crazy out there, man. Next segment will be up at 8 p.m. at YouTube.com slash TimCastIRL. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you all then.